So today we're going to look at a really interesting project. Uh, we're actually leveraging machine learning and AI to start to recognize and identify objects in the real world. So instead of creating pictures or media out of data, we're actually using that, those pictures to train a machine to be able to look at the real world and identify the objects which you can see in any given situation. Hi, I'm Carl Hurt. I'm a senior strategic planner here at 3D Excite. And we're here today to talk about computer vision, a topic I find very exciting. A large number of DeSol System customers are investing very heavily in a number of domains that require computer vision. For example, automated manufacturing, robotics, and driving. So computer vision is used today in a number of different contexts. One example would be quality assurance, where cameras can capture not only cosmetic defects, but also the uh, correct installation of components in complex products. Another use case is the identification of spare parts for replacement on complex machinery, especially in the field where access to uh, computers may not be possible. Computer vision is not more common today because of the requirements around the training sets to train the machine learning algorithms. It is often exceedingly difficult to gather the photographic data required especially in the broad and representative set that is required. One of the challenges we wanted to solve was the generation of synthetic training data for computer vision, so that we're able to specifically target a set of example images to the customer's needs, use case and setting. We can automate computer vision when we automate the creation of the synthetic data required to train the models. Uh, the Dassault Systems platform enables us to take the CAD data, the design data, and generate photorealistic images in a broad range of contexts, for example, lighting conditions and backgrounds, to ensure that the training model created is specific to the customer's needs for their specific use case. 3D Excite have an existing software pipeline to enable moving from the design data, the CAD files, through to a beautiful photorealistic image. So we've automated and extended that pipeline to enable the generation of an unlimited number of images, so you can create the thousands of images you need to train a computer vision model specific for your products in your context for your use case. One of the core benefits of the synthetic data offering from 3D Excite is that we enable a pipeline from design through to computer vision capability. So as the designs are changing, as the next model iteration for next year or next season is being designed, you can already train a model and have it online in the factory before production is ready to start. In the coming years, there's also the opportunity to marry up the capabilities of computer vision with uh, richer information such as the assembly steps and factory processes so that you can be monitoring with cameras in the factory the steps that uh, assembly is taken and catch in real time any emissions or errors on the workstations. I see a lot of opportunity to move the computer vision projects of our customers towards a more data-centric approach where we can focus the data we're creating to train their models specific to the use case or their needs, enabling much more specific, targeted and accurate recognition capabilities. So thank you for joining us at this episode of the 3D Excite vlog. We'll see you in the next one. And until then, follow us on social media. Feel free to comment, um, ask us any questions, and maybe we'll see you at the 3D Experience Lab official launch at Bits and Pretzels this year in Munich in September. See you then.